welcome back everybody if you've been enjoying modern warfare 3 and are looking for the content update for season one when it's going to drop and what it's going to offer check this video out the first thing that we're going to get is some new multiplayer maps it looks like we're getting three of them called meat greece and rio and it looks like meat and greece are going to release on the first day of the season and we're also getting gunfight back as well so we'll talk about that in a minute and then of course we're getting new zombies content and urzikstan is releasing for warzone so we get the real official warzone update so that'll be super awesome so for these multiplayer maps i haven't seen any of these before i assume they're all new to this game but maybe they are from the original you'll have to let me know greece is looking like it's going to be super awesome it's got some cool design in there and uh then we got over here we got meat and down here we got rio so hopefully those are some good maps and uh they're good 6v6 maps then we've got the return of gunfight so if you're a fan of gunfight you're going to be excited this is the 2v2 mode on the small maps and it looks like we're going to get a new map called training facility so this is what's pictured here i believe which looks pretty cool actually um and then it does say here that they revealed there's just going to be a shipment 2v2 map coming back at some point so that would be really fun i don't think i've ever played gun uh, uh yeah gunfight on shipment before and then what i'm most excited about is new zombies content so it looks like we're going to get something called dark ether rifts it's a new end game challenge to tackle after seasonal missions dark Aether rifts gives you objectives to complete before a timer runs out so it seems like those might be a little bit of you know high stress situations um you got deadlines to complete whatever they are so that's exciting then we got modified vr 11 wonder weapon it allows you to transform zombies or humans into loyal allies so that's kind of cool so it kind of makes me think of brain rot in a way um i'm just sure it'll transform more and it'll probably work a little better but that's pretty cool um no, i don't really think that i'll want to use it too much but it looks like it's pictured here and then new schematics and new category of unique acquisition schematics will test your skills to unlock them so that's pretty cool those are probably some higher level ones i guess you know some difficult ones to get one thing i would say is i would really like to see him do something with the items that you the in-game items so like the watches all the stuff you can pick up the bandages and make it so you can craft stuff because they're not worth selling they're not worth enough um essence to sell so they're just kind of worthless in game right now so i'm hoping they make it so they add more items and they make it so you can craft stuff with them and they have a value now then it looks like we're getting the new Urzik stand map for Warzone. So it's got 11 POIs, um, which I, which is pretty cool. I'm wondering if it's the exact same as the Zombies map. I think it will be. Um, gameplay update, including many of the new movement mechanics. Okay, so we're getting the full integration. Um, moving over, tax stance and slide canceling, which I'm not a huge fan of tax stance, but it's fun. Um, traversal, you can travel through the new map in a variety of ways using zip lines and a, a drivable train. Interesting, I didn't know that was coming, so a drivable train. And improved Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer and Warzone switching. An update to the HQ is aiming to make switching between the games more seamless. Okay, seemed interesting. So, um, I did get all this information from Eurogamer, this is not my information. Um, if you want to check out this website or you know, you want to see what they got to say about this Go ahead and check this out, but I'm excited for it. I think it's gonna be fun I hope you're excited for it. It's looking like it's gonna be Early December, so maybe the fifth or the sixth and I really hope so So it does look like there's gonna be a battle pass as well with it And I guess we'll see what they're gonna reveal coming out with that